Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 26 through 30. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 26. An IT administrator has been assigned the responsibility of removing all files and directories whose names are listed in the discard.txt file. Which command is suitable for completing this task? The answer is D. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. Cat is our first command. This command will concatenate the discard.txt file. The vertical line or pipe will receive the standard output from the cat command and pass them as a standard input to the xargs command. The xargs command will then individually run each argument of the standard input against the rm-rf command. The rm-rf command removes files or directories recursively and forcefully. In this case, it is removing all the files and directories listed in the discard.txt file. Question 27. A Linux system administrator is investigating the source of increased CPU utilization on a server and identifies a single process with a process ID of 6268 and a nice value of 5 as the culprit. Among the options given, which command is most likely to rectify the problem? The answer is D. Kill-9-6268. The kill command is used in Linux to terminate processes and dash 9 is a signal option that sends the sig kill signal to the specified process, forcibly terminating it. In this scenario, since the process is causing high CPU utilization and potentially disrupting system performance, a forceful termination with sig kill is necessary to immediately halt its execution. Question 28. A Linux administrator intends to establish the set user ID permission for a file named file.txt while maintaining 750 access rights. Which of the following commands should be used to accomplish this objective? The answer is A. Chumat 4750 file.txt. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The chumod command is used in Linux to change the permissions of files and directories. 4750 is the numeric representation of the permissions that are being set. The first digit 4 sets the set user ID permission. The next three digits, 750, represent the access rights for the owner group and others, respectively. As for file.txt, this specifies the file for which the permissions are being modified. By using chumod 4750, file.txt, the administrator effectively sets the set user ID permission for the file while also maintaining the specified access rights of 750. Question 29. A system administrator encounters difficulty removing an application folder that is no longer in use due to the immutable attribute being set. Which of the following commands can be used to resolve this issue? The answer is C. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The change attribute command is used in Linux to modify file attributes. The dash R option stands for recursive, meaning the command will be applied not only to the specified directory, but also to all of its subdirectories and files. Next, we have the minus sign followed by the letter I. This portion of the command signifies that we will be removing the immutable attribute. Lastly, we have the app forward slash. This is the directory for which the immutable attribute is being modified. Question 30. A Linux administrator needs to ensure that the latest engine X Docker image is available locally. Which of the following commands should the administrator run to accomplish this task? The answer is B. Docker image pull engine X colon latest. The docker image pull command is employed to retrieve docker images from a registry. This command downloads the designated image and stores it locally on the system. When referring to engine x colon latest, it specifies the docker image to be fetched. Executing docker image pull engine x colon latest ensures that the Linux administrator downloads and stores the latest version of the engine x docker image locally. 
So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.